The Alric McKenzie Show starts right now. I've got angels watching over me. With every In life, there are many challenges, there are many circumstances. Situations will arise that will change your life or ever, but never to give up. It takes a strong person to go through what I've gone through and still can see the good in people. Welcome to the Alric Show. Today we meet a young man with music in his blood. Despite being in a wheelchair, he is still determined to climbing the ladder of success. Let's meet Cosmo Watson. Mr. Watson, how are you doing? Good to meet All you. Alright, but you're not just called Cosmo Watson. No. What's the name? Real VI. Yes, what does that mean? Um, the real is just to separate VI from the other, so to speak. All right, great. So you're an artist, yes? yes. Um, what kind of music you do? And tell us a little bit about um, your writings, because um, I know that you write, I write all, all my your songs. songs. I write right? all my Why? songs. Because I have a story to tell. And if singing other people's songs is like me telling other people's story. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So, and not that someone couldn't write a song for me, but um, I have so much history and so much to tell. So at this point in time, I'm, I'm basically the one that is writing all my material. There's a song that I really like, Success. Success. What's the, what's the story behind that song? Basically, all right, Success is, um, is a song that comes about with um, the whole idea of still me, me, there's a little bit of me in that song. Yes. You see what I'm saying? It's like me talking, mirroring myself, talking to myself. You see what I'm saying? Because, and, and then I make it be a broader base just by the intro of that song. I say, every ghetto you would have a story. Every ghetto you would have a story to tell. Them no one be seeing you rise and give your glory. But tell them, I want to be successful. You want to be successful. Successful. Every ghetto you would have a story to tell. Now make them, you know what I mean? Try if it tell you nothing and try if it make you feel like say you can't do or you can't, you know what I mean? Strive to, you know what I mean, to, to be what you're supposed to be. Because when you watch certain programs on TV right. that highlight people from various backgrounds, you get to understand that people from Rallington Town, Anatone, all, all different places see you come from uh, most of the they successful people. through pe the struggles. Most of the successful mm -hmm. people them have, is from that grassroots. Though, them put on the, 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 the jacket and the tie that makes them look different. You see what I'm saying? But if you check them background, they all have that story. They're all coming from that place. And they're driven by their struggles. By their struggles. Right. So to, success. <laughs> to success. To success. <laughs> All you right. I mean? yeah, um, help me to learn more about your experiences, your history. Take me back to your childhood. What was childhood like for you? What kind of family um, you're from? Mommy, daddy, around? Musical, what is it like? Musical family, a happy home. You know what I mean? From the jump, daddy had this big radio that plays <laughs> um, the vinyls them from long time. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, um, with, with all of that now, and Sundays, Sundays used to be a special day because mm. we always get the chance to spin records. Oh. You see what I'm saying? And no, so no, you're from the record days? Yeah. So you're not other artists in No. You, know? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And uh, that, that, you know what I mean? That kind of helps to spark the love for music. Not only that, but my father is a prominent member of the, 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 the band Stanley and the Turbines. Stanley, yeah, big up yeah. Stanley, you know what I mean? The late great Stanley, yeah, you know what I mean? So, um, growing up and seeing my father um, going to the rehearsals and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and I was basically the, the, the one child that he that used to tag along everywhere my father went. So, I got to see first hand. And growing up in, in that time of the music, it was, it was a very um, energetic time. It was a very inspirational time because mm -hmm. that's the time Michael Jackson was also coming at his peak because mm -hmm. when I sat, in my house and saw Michael Jackson do the moonwalk thing, I said, no, sir, 
I this me want to do for the rest of my life. Music. Because if him can't have all of them people here, I focus upon him and understand that theme attention. Um, could you, did you actually learn to do the moonwalk too? Well, <laughs> I never perfect you know, but I do my own walk now. I do my own walk now, you know what I mean? It's yeah. you know, uh -huh. definitely. Right. What, what were some of the early lessons learned as a child mm -hmm. um, into your teenage years that would, would drive you today? All right, let me tell you. Grew up and see my mother. She's a hard-working lady. May her soul rest in peace. She used to do domestic work. She worked with a lady up in um, New Kingston area. But seeing her and her drive uh, really inspired me and, and also my father drive because even though they have their individual mm -hmm. jobs, they never leave off them side hustle. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because my mother used to ask, just ask the community, my mother be the best pudding. You know what I mean? And then I see my father make Irish mash. Mm. You know what I mean? So my understand said, do your work, there's always that side hustle. But honest us because some man take us which is important as a as a means of we have to take where not belongs to them. You, you can see um, how the, how, the, how your parents yeah, really not, not help because for everybody not, to be stay not motivated. Because uh, you, we don't. There's no excuse. True. There's no excuse in whatever your circumstance is. You know what I mean? And people it, should uh, should un, should understand this too. Yes. Yes. No excuse for anything. Mm -hmm. um, any reason not to go out there, not even if the rain fall. So I'm saying, you just have to go out there and, and get the job done. Even even with me now in my pre, uh, in in my situation right now, right. you know what I mean. I've never ever found myself in a in a way where I'm, I say, oh, I can't do this, or I make people tell me some can't do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, I'm always the one to say, come Marvin, come see now, come we go get the job done. You see what I'm saying? I'm it, always, it has to be done. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because if I if I don't do it, who is gonna do it? And if and someone is always waiting to take that space that you are reluctant to fill. So we'll just keep on pushing on. Alright. When we come back, Real VI tells us about an incident that changed his life forever. But I would show.